is Danita and today we're meal prepping and I just wanted to show you my meal prep. One, extremely costly effect, cost effective. Two, extremely simple. Three, you're already prepared so the rest of your entire week you're going to be eating clean, you're going to be eating healthy, you're going to get that smaller waist and you're ready to get into your goals. So it has to be about preparing ahead of time. Otherwise, you're going to be like floundering trying to figure out what to do, right? So highly recommend meal prepping and so I'm going to show you just the best most effective way that I meal prep okay so when I go to the store I pick up my most top favorite vegetables and yes they are zucchini squash and peppers okay so you can usually find those on a really good discount um, buy two get one free you, you name it there's always some good sales on your vegetables I also get vegetables or sorry spinach and mushrooms I left in the fridge, but I'll get it. The next thing I would like to bring up as far as meal prepping, I like to make things in bulk. As you can tell over here, I've got some yams or sweet potatoes, whatever you want to call them. I have them in some um, olive oil and some garlic, <clears throat> garlic, <laughs> garlic salt and pepper. Over here, I have uh, this is my black beans and chickpeas mix. So I'm basically just making a huge pot of it for the entire week. I usually meal prep to give me about a week's worth so that way it really sets me up for success for the entire week, okay? So next thing I also do is I make a big container of tea. I'll end up throw about two tea bags in there in this container here and then I'll fill it up with about hot water and then the rest of it I'll fill with cold water. So the rest of the entire day I'm just uh, have my tea all ready for me. Okay, so here's the really fun thing. As far as meal prepping and keeping it very cost effective, I do everything in bulk. And so talk about my black beans, talk about my chickpeas, extremely, extremely affordable when you buy it in the bulk, bulk jars. I get my hemp hearts, and I also do a little granola mix where I just, you can sometimes, my store, depends on which store you have, but they have it so they're all the same price and so you can mix them all together, so that was fun. Let me keep stirring my potatoes so I don't burn them over here. They're like looking crispy and yummy, I'm so excited. Okay, so I have my chia seeds, my quinoa, and another thing is granola. Okay. Cool, so that kind of gives you an idea as far as what I buy. And then the next step, what I do, I do do onion and garlic as well. The next thing I do is I add everything into a blender. So check this out. So far I've already blended up one portion, so it's a large amount as you can tell. This right here is squash, zucchini, and onion. And now I'm doing peppers and garlic and then I'll add mushrooms into that. So I'll make a big container of vegetables so that I can put with burritos, tacos, spaghetti, anything. Like you can just basically saute this and it's just so quick and on the go that it's so easy for me to get my vegetables in for me by doing it this way. So after I make a big container of tea, I'm making my potatoes and I'm making my chickpeas with black beans, those could be total fun options that you can create. Maybe it's a Buddha bowl where you put everything together with rice and quinoa. Um, maybe you make burritos, maybe tacos, maybe you make your, your um, quinoa oatmeal in the morning, you name it. Um, so probably the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add, I'm gonna do a quinoa oatmeal and I'm just gonna prepare that in a big pot so that I have enough for the entire week. But also keep in mind to not waste food and so as you start to get better and better at this, it starts to become so much easier. So I wanted to ask you guys, what are questions that you have for meal prepping? Not that only that it's super costly effective, not only is it so simple, and, and this is just gonna be probably about an hour that I'll have for the entire rest of the week that I'll have all of the meals already ready. Um, and then also it just prepares you so that you'll be so successful in your journey as far as fitness and of course your energy, because all of this is energy food, it's whole foods, it's good for you. I make, I hardly eat out, I do eat out, and when I do, it's just very on occasion, and I always make sure I'm sticking with like fish and a lot of vegetables, things like that. If I had apples, I would cut those up, put some lemon juice on them, and put them in little baggies for snacks. 
I actually don't measure anything. That's what's pretty cool about um, keeping everything really fast and um, I don't measure water, nothing. Like I, what I do is I soak my beans, my chickpeas and my black beans, I'll soak them overnight and then I'll rinse them several times to make sure there's no more like black running off the beans or yellow coming off the chickpeas. And then, um, because I don't buy the cans, I highly recommend just buying them raw like this and then just soaking them. There's so much, it's just so much healthier for you not to do the canned. So then what I do is I just uh, put them in a pot of, just cover them with water, I don't measure anything, and then I boil it until I can see that they're, uh, they're done. So I'll just like take one out and see if it's completely cooked all the way, they're soft. I only have about five or six meals a day on average. I don't really count anything, I just listen to my body. Everything is about listening to your body, finding out about when you're hungry. If you're not hungry, that actually is a sign that your metabolism isn't fast enough. It shows that you should probably be doing more workouts, be lifting more weights, and probably eating smaller portion meals. So my meals are small portioned. Um, I eat to when I feel full, so don't, uh, don't eat too quickly. But if you have a lot of foods that are like whole foods, girl, you can't overeat. My pad come up is, Tanita, how much is too many booty balls, or how many is too many, too many booty balls? And to be very honest with you, it's very hard to eat too many booty balls. Because if you're loading it up with nuts and seeds and protein powder and it's got all of those great nutrients, you're gonna find it's very challenging because it's full of fiber and dense of nutrients. Same thing with all of the food I'm cooking here. It's very dense with nutrition and so it's very hard to overeat. So don't even think about overeating. I want you to focus the first step is first replacing any of the bad foods that are in your diet, replacing it with whole foods, cooking it yourself, and then doing it. And if I get hungry late at night, I try not to eat right before bedtime, but if I'm sleeping and I'm like, ugh, like I, I feel like I can't sleep because my stomach is like, ugh, I wanna eat another meal. The best suggestion for those that have a hard time sleeping and you're really wanting to eat something late at night, best case scenario is trying to wean yourself away so you don't eat at night, but the uh, an okay scenario is if you were to have protein, fats, and vegetables. Do not have carbs or sugar right before bed because you're gonna wake up the next morning and feel fluffy. So if you have to, worst case scenario, grab like a protein shake, just almond milk, and some protein powder, drink that, and see if that will take away um, that, that need for eating late at night. Vegetable setup, I have peppers, mushrooms, garlic, zucchini, squash, onion, spinach, a lot about it, I know I do. It's called the Yeast Nutritional Flakes, and uh, this is 